welcome back to my channel. Dawn does stuff and things. We're going to work on putting together some hot cocoa bombs today. So what I do is I start with a cupcake container and I wrap the cupcake container in saran wrap. Then it gives me a nice little spot to set my cups in. It's also very easy to clean off and again, save the chocolate when I'm done. So I first like to make my sides nice and even before I start adding anything to my bombs. I heated up this plate here, so I'm just gonna give them a quick, you don't need much, just a quick little melt on the edges. I normally do it on my griddle behind me, but I was afraid I wouldn't get it in the shot. But a plate is very easy. Uh, anything that's just warm, you don't need it boiling hot, just enough to take that little lip off so that they're gonna join together really nice. So now we're going to make, uh, these are going to be hot chocolate. I'm going to take my little scoop, my chocolate, and I'm going to, this is, uh, about a teaspoon and a half, so I'm putting like a tablespoon in each one. You don't need any more if you're using real chocolate because the ball is 52 grams of chocolate. So you've got so much chocolate already. If you put more in, it's just two crazy amounts of chocolates. So this way, just load them up. And you can do any flavor you like. Uh, I we will do some other flavors later, some candy canes, some salted caramel, but we're gonna start with basics right now. So we're just gonna do the hot chocolate. Then we're gonna fill them up with marshmallows. You can't have too many marshmallows. So just cram them till you can't get any more in. Marshmallows are the secret to a successful hot cocoa bomb. So you certainly don't want to put four or five marshmallows. They're cheap. Cram them full because what is the best part of having a cup of hot chocolate is having all your marshmallows. Fill them up to the top. And if you flop around outside, but that's okay too. Next, we're going to take our tops and we're going to heat them up as well. Once you've got it heated, lift up your bomb and just gently put your top on and seal it. Now, I like to take my finger and just run it around the edge. You have a perfect joint, perfect seal, and I set them back down on the seam so I can see the seam facing me. We're gonna keep going. together, match those sides, run your finger around that excess, join the seam. I usually have a towel to wipe my fingers on. I usually wear gloves again, but these are for family, so I'm not gonna worry about gloves. And just keep going. It takes a few minutes, but it doesn't take too long. In the meantime, you can have your chocolate melting for your drizzle. Again, I use the same chocolate as I am using on the bomb. So this is milk chocolate. So I'm gonna have a milk chocolate drizzle. Everything will be the same. They only take a minute to set. As, as you're seeing, I'm not putting, uh, there's not a lot of melting going on. You can see how much chocolate is down here on my plate. Hope you can see that, how much chocolate is down here on my plate. I'll just lift it up. So there's not really a lot of waste there going on. I'm gonna do two more. Oh, got a marshmallow sticking out. That's how you know it's really full when the marshmallows start popping out. And the last one. Now my bombs are all joined together and they're all on their sides so that the seams are facing up. I'm now going to take my chocolate and my cup 
and I am going to do a drizzle. Just grab the cup in the, in the bag here. Inside the cup, take my chocolate, which I have heated to 84 degrees. You can see, perfect temperature, good consistency. Then bowl, pour it in from this wonderful silicone bowl that is life-changing. Pick it up. Get your scissors. Now you're going to just cut off the tip. Like just very tip and see where you're at. Well, see if you like that drizzle or not. Whether you want it to be a little bigger or not. Because you don't want it too big. You don't want it too small. Then we're going to start drizzling on the bombs. Now, one continuous motion, okay? I'm going to go down and I'm gonna do three of them at a time. So I'm just gonna go down. And then you can go back and forth and just fill in anything that you've missed. And being milk chocolate, I'm gonna use my microplane here and a piece of chocolate, and I'm just gonna grate it on top. And there you have your milk chocolate bomb. And then I'll do the next three. You can go across this way. Whatever works for you, just make sure you cover that seam and then your bomb will look absolutely wonderful. As fast as you go is how much you can get done. And really the key is to doing it nice and fast and trying to be as consistent as you can. But the faster you go, that chocolate is not gonna dry and you're gonna be able to get your toppings on. And there you have it. Nine hot chocolate bombs done in a couple minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned for more tips and tricks on hot cocoa bombs and other stuff and things, and we will see you soon. Have a great day.